actually look forward to coming to the conference every single year from the very first year I came, which I think was 2000 or 2001. From that point on, uh, I've been excited about coming and it's turned into a reunion with the women that come constantly. It's wonderful to see the new faces. I've been doing conferences for the last 30 years across the country, in the country, out of the country, doing women's conferences. I can truly tell you, this is the best one I've ever been invited to or has attended. It ranks right up there with the mega conferences that I wasn't speaking at them, but I have attended. And this one is right up in that same category. Actually, it's better because it's more personable. And I would say that the reason for that is because of the young woman that God has given this work to, which is uh, First Lady Cheryl Wilkins, Pastor Wilkins' wife. She really, really has it at heart, is full of hospitality. She loves God's people. There's a genuine, she's authentic. She's a genuine, truly a wonderful Christian young woman that makes me happy when I look behind my age group and say, somebody else is coming up like this, okay? She's unselfish, she's full of compassion, she loves getting a blessing across to the people. Every single little detail is well thought out and planned. And the volunteer staff that she has that works with her, they work for every woman to be comfortable and to achieve a blessing and to hear things that they need to hear. So when I come to this conference, well, every conference that I, anywhere I, I minister, I seek God to find out what he wants to talk to me about. But I know her heart. I know her heart. So I'm not restricted in one particular lane. And every year, the subject of the conference is well prayed out and thought out. And so I get to be privy to knowing what it's going to be about before I get there. And it's always on point with what God is doing at that time. The Bible talks about the sons of Issachar, that they understood the times. Cheryl Wilkins understands the times that women are going through. And uh, really, it would be a wonderful uh, conference for men to come to also, because it's not a male bashing thing. When you go through this conference, you learn how to come out to be a better wife, a better mother, uh, a, a single parented household, how to be able to take it in stride and not to be so stressed out. One of the things the conference does, it eliminates stress because you get to be in a nice, this church is absolutely beautiful for one thing. I mean, it's just fabulous. And the decor, the meals, the fellowship, the friendship, and everybody is common in that sense. We all enjoy talking to each other, whether you know the people at the table across from you or not. It's, all, it's not like, well, it's the special people. No, it's all of us. It's a sisterhood together. And that's what I like about it. People come up to me all the time and they say, God, I needed to hear that. God, that blessed me, that brought me out. And that makes me smile on the inside and give great praise and glory to God that he uses us to bring that kind of help and an extension to life and to de-stress the women that come here so that they can go back out. And they're better mothers, they're better sisters, daughters, friends. They're better witnesses for Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Don't get me happy.